In the midst of the great revival of 1800 that swept through the South, a 17-year-old named Robert Donnell in East Tennessee made a decision that would change the course of not only his life, but that of thousands of believers for generations to come. He professed religion and joined the communion of the Presbyterian Church. Donald soon became known throughout the Presbytery as the young man who had the word of the Lord as fire shut up in his bones, who with melting heart and streaming eyes would exhort his friends to flee the wrath to come. Within six years, Donald was holding meetings throughout Middle Tennessee and North Alabama, and by 1809, he was ferrying across the Elk River in a flatboat to reach preaching appointments in Madison County. But Donald's ministry began during a tumultuous time for the Presbytery, as a group of ministers and elders separated from the larger church and organized the Cumberland Presbyterian Church at Samuel McAdow's home in Dixon, Tennessee in February 1810. Donald was one of the first six men received as candidates for ministry in this new church the very next month, and he helped prepare the Confession of Faith that set forth the church's principles. In 1835, after planting several churches in North Alabama, Donald and his family moved to Mooresville, where he paid $800 for the home Donald Campbell had built in 1828. Donald established the Mooresville Female Seminary and the first Sunday school in Mooresville in 1836, and Donald was the first to preach in the Brick Church after it was completed in 1839. One of the staunchest supporters of the Cumberland Presbyterian Church in Mooresville was Mary Ann Walton, better known as Molly. Molly, a woman of great means, donated one of the five original chandeliers in the church building, and today hers is the only one that remains. After Donald's death in 1855, the Cumberland Presbyterians split in 1880, and everything was removed from the church except the Walton chandelier, which Molly insisted she had purchased for the little church on the corner, and there it would stay. After Molly Walton died in 1899, she left one parting gift to the Presbyterian Church and a parting shot to her nearest heir, her nephew, James Woodruff. Her will, written 25 years earlier, left most of her estate to the Presbyterian Church in Mooresville, by then a congregation that no longer existed. She left large shares to distant relatives, many of whom were by then deceased, and just $20 to Woodruff. Woodruff contested the will, but it was upheld three times by the Alabama Supreme Court. Today, the old Cumberland Presbyterian Church continues its own revival of sorts, begun in 1994, when the Methodist Church sold the old church building to the town of Mooresville for $10. Although it has been decades since a congregation regularly worshiped in the church building, it now serves as a popular wedding and event venue and the centerpiece of ongoing restoration efforts as Mooresville celebrates its bicentennial in 2018.